So I can do this and then this. Ah, this is getting this is getting real rough. My uh my ability to discuss my thoughts as I'm going is greatly diminished. All right, everybody, welcome back to Physics Gaming. Taking another look at a little indie demo here. This one is called Pawn Barian. Again, from the uh, Steam Tiny Teams. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Not available in the demo. Okay, so we only get one option here. So what caught my eye about this one was it's kind of like a chess, but auto battler, but like roguelite kind of. It's interesting. All right, welcome to Pawn Barian. Hover over anything to see a description. Each turn you'll play cards to move and attack with your hero. With the same pattern as the corresponding chess piece. You have two moves each turn, shown under the board on the right side. Okay, so these are our total moves. Okay, normally you'll choose what to play from three random cards. Play the two pawn cards to continue. Click a card, then the highlighted square on the board. Okay. So I'm playing a pawn as one of my turns and I'm moving forward. This beaver just hit me. Oh, it's a capybara. Capybara instead of capybara. So after you run out of moves, it is the monster's turn. They get a chance to attack you, then move. You enter your turn and reach over the capybara, so you were attacked and got damaged. Red notches show targeted. Hover over any square to see what is targeting. Okay. Use the knight and jump into the top row to continue. Sure. You just promoted one of your pawns into a queen. Okay, so you still get the promotion for pawns. Okay. Card stay. Card stay promoted until played or until the end of a floor. If you don't play it right now, you might draw later on the floor. Attack enemies by moving into them, just like capturing. Kill all enemies on the floor to continue. So I... Can I just skip? I don't really want to use the queen. I guess we have to. Uh, I do get in range to take damage, but I take the one guy out, so that seems worth it to me. So I'm gonna go here, and then use this guy, boom. Take a look at the board. The bag shows your current gold, and everything to the right is loot. So that's a lot of gold. I also have a blood crystal. The crystal heals a point of damage, the gold goes straight in your bag. The rightmost piece of loot is lost each turn, so finishing a floor in fewer turns means you gain more stuff. You also gain a piece of gold from each enemy you kill, unless it was spawned by another enemy. Welcome to the shop. You can spend gold. You can get more hearts or upgrades. Move into things to buy them. There's no move limit in the shop, and you always have cards which allow convenient movement. Take a look around and buy an upgrade. Okay. So... Pawns gain an action and draw a card. Pawn attacks cardinally adjacent squares after moving. Cardinal absorb a point of damage this turn. One more max heart. I think I want this guy, right? Like that. And I don't really think I want anything else. I'm just gonna leave. What the heck is this? Eldritch Abomination, born from blight. Beware, it's Noxus Secretions. Leaves blight when moving. Okay. Spawns Blight Sack on death. Most enemies in the game have some ability you have to strategize around. Be sure to read descriptions. You can skip turns early with the button. Okay, so if I only wanted to move once, I could do that. He attacks things directly next to me. I can't attack with my pawn currently, but what I can do is come here, hit him with my pawn, and he breaks into four. Okay. Note the amount of notches in a corner of square hints the amount of damage. One, two, or three notches means exactly what you would expect. The skull means four or more, but it's not necessarily lethal. So if I stay here, I would take four damage, basically. I have two moves. And I have two rooks. So I'm going to hit this guy, right? And I think I'm going to hit this guy. Because these guys attack adjacent squares. Oh, wait, no. So I will still take damage if I stay here? Oh, no. It only... Okay, it doesn't attack corners. So I can still stand on one of these guys. I can hit that guy, too. Oh, no. I have my upgraded pawn. Gain an action and draw a card. So if I move up one, if I move up two, I could use my little knight to get back to this guy. And then what, though? 
Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. That guy gets upgraded. I have one more move. I'm out of the Blight. If I take either one, I would take damage, so I'm gonna retain my cards, I think. Oh, I don't keep the cards. Never mind. I have a king, and this guy, and a knight. Um, none of them are really what I want. I can move here, and then end turn. I don't know what my plan is here. Uh, this guy can't do anything for me. This guy also doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Well, I don't. I was gonna take this guy with the pawn, but actually, I just realized that would take damage, so I'm gonna do that instead. And now I just kill this guy. Okay, so that took more turns than I wanted it to, so we lost a lot of gold for that. Was that it? Is there a... Is there a non-tutorial section? Oh, okay. There's a bunch. Oh, this guy's got big dreams here. Let's go to the goblin cave. Floor one of seven. Alright, so we got the cappy bears and a horned cappy bear. Immune while the heroes any the cardinally adjacent squares. Okay, so if I stay still, I would lose quite a bit of health. Okay. Pawn has the cantrip, where I get an action and draw a card. Queen, absorb a point of damage this turn, and attack diagonally adjacent enemies after moving. So if I go here, I would hit this guy. And he's immune to cardinally adjacent, which I assume means these four. So, I guess I hit the first guy, like that. Right? And then move forward, move forward again, and I can use the horse. And we're done. Easy mode. Upgrades bishop with diagonal splash, gain an action, absorb a point of damage. Um, I think we're getting extra actions as often as possible. That seemed pretty broken. All right, what do we got? Goblin Archer. Dodges first attack each turn if able, moves in the direction of the attack, so we can push him around. We can push this guy around too, but he's melee. Blights all adjacent squares after death. Okay, so this Archer is kind of annoying. So let's see here. If I do this, he's gonna go that way, which means I can use the pawn to hit him. I have one extra action. This guy would try to dodge this way, but he can't. So I feel like I can hit him? Yeah. Nice. We took one damage, but I think that's worth it. So if I hit this guy, he's gonna try to go down. Which is fine, because we can then use the rook. And look at that. It's almost like we're planning... Uh, diagonal splash, diagonal splash... Cardinals, blah blah blah. Nope. I don't see any extra moves, so I'm not taking it. That is a lot of enemies. Immune while any other enemies are alive, so he has to go last. The skirmisher we saw last time, Spider Toad, not particularly aggressive as long as you're on a different continent. After death, limits the hero's moves to one next turn. Okay. So we really want to be taking all of these guys out at once. Attacks diagonally adjacent squares. So if I hit... So I want to hit this, I think. But I can't just move a pawn there because there's nothing to attack. So if I hit this guy, it'll hit him as well. Diagonally adjacent. This guy gives me an extra. So I think we're going to do that. Come up here. We get the extra attack. We want to be taking out all of these spider toads because they're limiting our attacks, right? So I only get one this turn, but that's fine because we had planned for it. And we just want to not take damage, basically. So I can move anywhere that I don't take damage, but I still have a chance to attack next turn. 
which I have a feeling I actually want to go over here. I was hoping this guy would come forward and we can use a pawn to attack him diagonally. Okay, so the rook... I could take out the one guy. This guy can't attack when I'm right up next to him. So maybe we do that. Uh, I don't really see a way that I could maneuver with knights to be able to take both of them out. Oh, I got an extra card and an extra move, so I can actually take both of them out pretty easily. Oh, I forgot he has Nimble. Okay, let's see here now. So now I know he's going to be pushing. Gain an action and draw a card. So he's going to go backwards, which I guess is fine. We have two moves. He can't dodge anymore, so we can just do that. Nice. All right, back at the shop. 20 gold. What do we got here? Attack diagonally adjacent, attack cardinally adjacent, gain an action, draw a card. Okay, so we are going to take this guy. And I think we're also going to take this guy. Floor four of seven. We got a sheep. A snake paka. Immune, okay. Goblin warrior, immune while the hero is cardinally adjacent. It also has Nimble. This guy has Nimble too. Alright, so a lot of these guys we need to attack from the diagonal. And almost everyone has Nimble. Okay. So we need to set ourselves up to attack from a direction where they won't be able to dodge. Like this guy, if I were to attack diagonally from here, he can't dodge because he can't move backwards into this guy. I'm also not in any danger currently, so I don't I don't know if I have to move. Um, he, these guys have nimble, right? Yeah, they have nimble. Hmm. Well, let's see. What is our best plan of action here? Okay, I think I'm gonna come here. This is the king, not the queen. We're gonna hit this guy. King takes him, so we've upgraded to a queen now. Right? So this is- oh, that's nice. We got to upgrade immediately for that. Okay, so let's see. These guys have nimble, so I can't just hit him directly. Like, if I went at him with the queen or the bishop, he would just move back one. I can't hit this guy at all. Right? Oh no, I can. Immune while hero is not in an adjacent square. Okay, and these guys, so if I kill him, I'm taking two damage. It's not really what I want to do. Um, he has nimble. I think everyone has nimble except for this guy. He's running away, basically. I think I'm just running away that turn. Does he have nimble? He does, but he won't be able to dodge. So we take that. He leaves his blight. We only have one move. And if we go here, we take no damage. Okay. Attack cardinally adjacent enemies after moving. Oh, this is perfect, actually. I can take that, right? Wait, why can't I take that? Immune while they're in cardinally adjacent. Oh, I thought it was immune when not. Or is that this guy? Oh, this is immune when not. Okay. So they are different. All right. I thought they were the same. Okay. All right. Uh, so we can take this guy out. Right? I still can't hit this guy. I have to move forward once to hit this guy. Or at least get cardinally adjacent. So I need to go here. Then come here, and then back away so this guy doesn't damage me. Alright, so now I need to get away from him, and then hit him. Oh, I forgot he had Nimble. Oh, I forgot he had Nimble. Okay, um... So we come here, we go down. I don't know how he still died with Nimble, but sure, I'll take it. One more max heart. Action. Some more cantrips. Absorb damage. Absorb damage. So do I want cantrip? 
on a bishop or cantrip on a knight? I think I want cantrip on the knight, probably. So this is the goblin guy who we can't hit when we're next to. Oh, this guy's new. Champion immune while their enemies are alive and nimble. Okay, so he's ranged. So we have to end a turn next to this guy, basically. And it seems like every single square on the board is taking damage. This is just the capybara who hits us. These are the webs. All right, um, let's see. So if I take this guy out, I can't stay on that square because I'll take four damage. But if I take him out, I gain an extra one. I can hit the Cappy Bear on the same turn, so I can take both of these guys out. Neither of them have Nimble. I'd only get one move the next turn. I can't hit this guy that same turn. I think we're going to do that. Because this guy does... Oh, I don't even have to hit this guy. It does Diagonal Splash. So I get the Cappy Bear for free, basically. I can't hit him because I am in a cardinally adjacent square. I can't him, hit him because I'm not in a cardinally adjacent square. Not in any adjacent square. Oh wait, no, I can hit him. It doesn't have to be cardinally adjacent. Okay, and I have two moves, so I'm gonna hit this guy. And then I think we also take out the spider toad, so we only get webbed for a single turn. And unfortunately, it does not look like I can attack anybody. But I can run away, get an extra turn. And unfortunately, I can't get to a safe spot. So I guess we take one damage this turn. Ouch. Let's use our blood crystal, maybe? I don't know why not doesn't let me use it. Maybe it's just at the end of the turn. So I need to get into a non-cardinally adjacent square, and then I can hit this guy. And then I can get to this guy. That's what I'm seeing at least. So not cardinally adjacent. I can hit this guy. Oh, he is nimble, right? Does this guy also have Nimble? Why does everyone have Nimble? Well, I can't hit him, so we'll just wait there. Okay, so he has Nimble. I get Shield. I come at him like this, and then I hit him with the King. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, maybe we buy a heart. Oh, the blood crystal's at the end of the turn. Okay, I see. I see now. So we got 14. Absorb damage, attack cardinally adjacent squares. Yo, this one pawn is beefy. He just hits everything. Assuming I take that. More cantrips. More shields. I think we take the heart. Uh, you know what? Let's make one beefy pawn, too. Why not? Let's spend that money. That's what it's there for. That's a lot of toads. It's hella toads, dude. Oh, this is our beefy pawn. Okay, so let's go. Nimble. Nimble. These guys don't have nimble still. Boom, baby. Let's go. That felt good. That felt real nice. Okay. Oh, I only have one move. I thought I had two after this. Is anyone hitting this spot? How do I stop using that? I don't think anyone is attacking that spot. So I just take him. Cardinal Splash. And this guy has immune while I'm cardinally adjacent. So that doesn't help. But what does help is if I move up here, I can upgrade. Alright. These guys both have Nimble. And let's see. What's a good way for me to get out of here? I can attack him with one of my bishops. He'll move down here. I can hit him with the other bishop. This guy does damage to me. I can just run away with my queen and stay there. The big pawn returns, so I can hit this guy, because I'm not cardinally adjacent. 
So I think we do that. And he's already dodged once, so we can hit him too. Beautiful. Let's see, diagonal splash, shield, a shield, a shield. I really want to give a shield. All right, we have 15 and this is the last level. So we want to spend as much as we can. So we could spend six and six and 12, or we can spend six and seven and 13. So let's get the heart just to maximize our spendage. And I think we get the shield on this guy, probably. All right, last floor. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, all right, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot going on. Our big boy pawn, I think we just step forward. Let me hit everything there. Oh, these guys had, uh, okay, I forgot about that. Champion Brawler. I can hit this guy. And then I have two moves to hopefully get away. Does this Cardinal Splash, but this guy is still immune. So is this guy. Does he have Nimble? He does, so I, I get rid of him with this. Wait, how is he back? Spawn a Blight Sack on an empty adjacent square whenever another enemy dies. Oh, yikes. I think I can hit this guy, because he can't dodge backwards. I upgrade to a Queen. I only have one move left. I won't be able to kill this guy, right, because he has Nimble? Oh wait, I could if I go down here and over. And I'll take one damage, but I have enough shield to block that anyway. Alright, we cleared off a good amount of the board there. So now we need to take down this guy, and then all of these. So for this guy, we need to attack him diagonally, it seems. That is the way. So we could king to move up one into a corner. And then attack him with the bishop. Oh, he is nimble. I forget every single time. I always forget he is nimble. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Oh, uh, they tricked me. Those jerks. Okay, we got one queen. Honestly, I just want to move to a spot where I take less damage. I think that's the play. Which seems like this spot here. I only take one damage. So I guess we gotta do that. I got cocky there. Alright, so his nimbleness, he won't be able to dodge. But... I'm gonna be in for a world of hurt. So I can take him out. And then use the rook to go over to one of these one damage spots. I would like to be here, no damage spot. I don't think I can get there though. Or not the rook, I can use the bishop to get him. Well, I guess that's what we gotta do, right? Oh, I forgot he was gonna do that. Okay. Is that a no damage square now because that spawned? Oh! That was a big brain move. I totally meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. All right, so we go here. All those guys are dead. We go up here. This guy gets upgraded to a queen and we win. Nice. All right, that felt good. What is this gauntlet pillar covered with protective sigils? Oh, of course I gotta hit him. Bonk. So what is this, exit? Sealed off with ancient magic, immune. The goblin cave's gauntlet floor. Oh, okay, so it's even harder. Wow, wow, okay, that's a lot of enemies. What the heck is going on here? Is everyone blighted? Everyone is blighted. Nimble, no nimble. Brawler and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I hit this guy, right? Why can't I hit that guy? Oh, he's championed. 
I can hit this guy. That guy breaks everyone up. I have two moves. I think I take this guy out. And then we go for this guy, and I get him again. I take two damage, but I had one shield. Or maybe I only took one damage, I don't know. So this guy's immune, because we're in a cardinal direction. But we can move over one, hit him. Oh, he's got nimble. Okay, he has nimble. So I think we move over one, attack him, and attack him again. So now we can get this guy on this turn. All right. So he has Nimble and Brawler. So we have to attack him from a diagonal and make sure we can do it twice or back him into a corner. First, we just make sure we don't take damage though. All right, so let's get over here so we get more moves. Hmm. And I think we can take him like that. There it is. Gauntlet Floor 2. Wow. Oh, and we're not healing anymore. We lost our uh, our heart thingy. Okay. That's pretty rough. It's kind of a rough game. Um, I don't even know what to do in this situation. Blights. I think we got to make sure we get the ones that like don't spawn more enemies. Okay, so... Where are our safe spots? There aren't any. There are no safe spots. Who's attacking this square? How do I check that? Seems like that guy is. So if I can get rid of this guy, then I can stand here safely. So now I have safety spots, right? And I think I just go hide in one of them. I think that's the play. Man, this is getting pretty rough. Okay, so I gotta remember the nimble and the webbed stuff. If I move this guy here, I take out him, him, and him, right? So that's pretty big, but then I'm webbed the next turn. So I definitely need to be in somewhere safe. So we'll go for that. Definitely take that. I can't hit this guy because he's guardian or whatever it's called. Um, I'm not taking damage where I am right now. I don't really think it makes a whole lot of sense to try to hit other people. Because I could come up here. But he'll dodge, and I could hit the capybara, but then I'm taking a ton of damage, and I only have one health and one shield. I think I'm just gonna back up again and go next. So I'm webbed this turn, but it doesn't look like I'm only getting attacked from one person. So that's fine. I'm just gonna move to the side and, and turn again. I think that's the play. Alright, what's the play now? He has nimble, but he won't be able to dodge from the night. This guy also has nimble. He is nimble. He does not have nimble. This guy attacks there. So I move one here, one there, right? Now, 
I need to hide. I need to hide. I think I hide over here. Okay. Back into you. Come up here. Does he have nimble? He does not have nimble. So I can do this and then this. Ah, this is getting this is getting real rough. My uh my ability to discuss my thoughts as I'm going is greatly diminished. I'm thinking about it way too much. I will say though, very fun game actually. I really like the puzzling aspect here. Let's see. I think I have to take someone here. One of these guys. So I'm gonna take this one. This guy wouldn't be able to dodge. I think I'm dead though if I go over that way. You know what, let's do it. Why not? I'm still dead. But it was enjoyable, you know? It's really all about the experience. Yeah. Perished. Gauntlet Floor 3. Abandoned run. So what is that? I saw something called chain. Beat 10 cumulative chain modifiers in the full release. Oh, so it's just not out yet. Okay. Interesting. And there's different characters to play as. And we saw there's a bunch of different maps here. I like it. Honestly, I really like that game. Might have to, might have to put that one on the wish list. Uh, again, this was called... Pawn Barian. Uh, definitely recommend checking it out if you enjoy puzzling games and uh, deck builders. It's uh, pretty fun. Again, from the uh, Tiny Teams event that was going on on Steam a little bit ago. And uh, let me know what you guys thought. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. A dislike if you didn't. Feel free to hit subscribe to see some more uh, gaming videos coming out in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.